Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 No Boundaries 19.6 travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new 2022 No Boundaries 19.6 travel trailer here, built by Forest River. And we're gonna start up here in the front section, kind of spin our way back through the RV here. Um, as you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, uh, this is kind of a smaller couple's coach. This unit is a Murphy bed layout. So we have it currently in sofa mode. Now, there is some storage underneath of that sofa, so you can either get to it from the little nets below or raise the sofa up and reach down and grab some stuff. That sofa will fold down, and then once it's down, you can then flip down the 60 by 80 queen bed. And it's sort of a little bit of a walk around mattress. You can get into it a little bit from each side and at the foot of the bed. Now, back in behind there, is also some shelf space when it's down and then you can obviously see the window you'll again see that when we get outside as well on each side of the bed you have a hanging closet has led lights in each closet there a little shelf space up top as well on each side there's an electric outlet and usb charger ports but on the right side the right closet over there is the light switch for the two closets and the inverter on off button when you have that inverter to run some of the general purpose outlets in the RV. Window on both sides of the bed here does open, but the one the, in the front does not. And they have the little pleated nightshades that they use for blinds. You have small slide out. And basically you have some overhead cabinets there. So you got some more storage space up top. Emergency exit window, that window does open as well. And then this little sofa will flip down and make into a bed, basically like the Murphy bed sofa did also. Plenty of room here when you are in sofa mode. So you got a lot of room here to kind of maneuver around. A couple nice bar stools there. Looking up at the ceiling here, we have our 13,500 BTU Coleman AC system. Now, the unit has an optional 12 volt TV that you can get from the RV manufacturer. This customer chose not to order that, but the TV hookups are right here on the side of the cabinet. So your TV antenna booster, your cable inlet and satellite inlet, features are right there and in that 12 volt outlet up top so if you don't do the tv from the rv manufacturer that's 12 volt you're going to have to get your own obviously deal without one if you don't want one but if you buy our traditional 110 volt tv you would have to try to plug in somewhere else because they don't have a 110 volt plug so the closest one is all the way down here at the counter, another one over here at this side of the counter, and that's pretty much it. So if you think you want a TV, the 12 volt plug up there is pretty much all you have to plug into. You do have a large single bowl sink. It does have the little high rise faucet there. You have a two burner propane stove top and then you can see the little glass lid flips up and kind of acts as a backsplash but this lid comes down giving you more counter space if you're not wanting to use it you have your traditional rv hood range and fan and then you do have some storage up above now looking down here this one was ordered with the convection microwave feature if you don't do that, you don't get anything other than basically an open hole down there for storage. The unit also has the uh, foot dustpan vac down below. And it's an intervac 
central vac system, but they basically do it because it's all linoleum here, so you can sweep it into that dustpan vac. It does not come with the hoses for the vac. If you wanted the hoses, you would have to buy those off of the vacuum maker's website. On the side of the kitchen island, there's USB charger ports and a little LED light switch for the light above the convection microwave down here. Going on back to the back here, you have your furnace down below, then you have hanging closet and pantry space here, and then also the little lockbox back there as well. In the lockbox is where you will usually find the JBL Flip 5 Bluetooth speaker that comes with the RV. Spin on back around here so you can see from this angle here. Um, down below we have our electric box with the breakers and 12 volt fuses. We also have the propane leak detector down there. Then you have your Norcold refrigerator here as well. Um, basically 12 volt refrigerator here. Again, this particular unit has the solar package and stuff on it, uh, which will help really re-energize that battery up front. If you don't do the solar package and you just go boondock camping, as long as your battery is still charged up, it will run the refrigerator, but eventually that battery is gonna go dead and your refrigerator won't work. Now, when you plug into electricity, the electric at the campground recharges the battery. The electric at the campground runs things like the lights, the refrigerator, and that type of stuff, your air conditioner. Um, so you have a converter in here that makes 12 volt power when you are plugged in. On around to this section here, we have our bathroom area here. So we have a corner glassed in shower, just basically a little step in shower here. And this does have uh, the little water saver feature on it as well. A little shower miser. Got a skylight up above. You have a turbo exhaust fan up here. Traditional medicine cabinet. There's some storage below the sink area down there. Electric outlet down there as well. Foot flush toilet. Now back here on this side of the wall is going to be some of your controls. And we have, you know, light switch here. We have our water pump switch and our water heater on gas switch here. We have our monitoring panel for our holding tanks and battery condition all right here. This unit was ordered with the cold weather package. So you have 12 volt heat pads to go on your holding tanks. And then you have, again, this one ordered with the solar package. So it has the solar charger in here and it's basically kind of telling you what's going on with your battery system. But overall, a nice, lightweight, quick and easy to use, small RV for a couple to travel around in, or single person, take the great, uh, occasional grandkid with you. All right, guys, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside, and then we're gonna come back in and close it up. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2022 No Boundaries 19.6 trailer by Forest River RV here. Um, so we're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around the outside of the RV here. Then we'll head back in and close her up. So first things up, we have a white base fiberglass exterior with a lower gray bottom fiberglass exterior. Graphics package stayed pretty much the same for the most part compared to last year's version. Deep tent safety glass windows. You have the power awning with the LED light strip built in. Also still have a traditional porch light up there as well. And you do have the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff on your awning. And you also have the manual override in this front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Now up front, you have a pass-through storage compartment area. You can see some of the aluminum tube framing there as part of the construction. Um, you can also see that Blue Ox Sway Pro headpiece head right there. This customer chose to go with that version of weight distribution hitching. That's a really nice hitch system, easy to adjust on the fly. Um, so definitely talk with your sales guy about that. It's a nice aftermarket feature you can get. 
The unit has a outside bush kitchen, they refer to it as, which is basically a hanging griddle that would go right here. I did not get it out, but you can see it there in the picture. And then also a little table that goes next to it, which I did grab out of the uh, storage compartment there. Down below is where you would plug in that grill right here. Just to the left, in between the, uh, behind the first axle, is also some low point water drains. The unit is a dual axle system, and they use a upgraded torsion flex axle, which is a little bit more of an independent suspension system compared to a traditional leaf spring. Um, so a little bit heavier duty there. Have the Westlake off-road tires here, which are a little bit nicer tire. Um, they are possibly going to be switching to Goodyear's, it sounds like. Um, that hasn't been determined if it's going to happen permanently or temporary. Uh, if you've been following the RV world, there are tons of shortages of parts going on right now across the country, and tires are one of them. So they're just kind of buying whatever's available and will work properly with the RV. So you may or may not get a certain brand of tire once you get your new RV. Just above the tires there is an electric outlet. And then you have your six gallon gas and electric water heater. You can see in that picture popping up there, inch and a 16th drain plug in the middle, lower bottom. Just to the left is the electric switch to turn the water heater on electric. And then your pressure relief valve up top, make sure you drain it out, uh, relieve that pressure before you drain it. Just a little bit easier to do when you're storing it. Over here by the light, you do have your stove exhaust right here. And there's a little flapper in there that you do have to open up so it works properly. The unit has the more ride step above step that will flip up inside the doorway there out of the way when you're not using it. Now this step comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet, and the step is rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover style step is only rated for 300. So you do get a significant weight gain right there. Next to that entry door, you have your large folding entry handle there. And next to that is going to be some informational stickers, kind of telling you your model number again, 19.6. Um, some little stickers there as far as about being solar ready. Uh, also the Asdale on board sticker, just kind of reminding you that this fiberglass is attached to an Asdale composite material that is way less likely to rot and delaminate or have malfunctions, where the traditional wood lue on board that most fiberglass RVs are attached to, if it gets any type of water leak or moisture back in behind the fiberglass, it will delaminate and most likely rot out. So that is a huge improvement having Asdell on board to the construction of your new RV. Just below that uh, graphic there on the back corner next to that awning arm is an outside cold water spray port. So if you need to hose something down over here, spray off your steps or something like that, you do have a spray port here to do so. Spare tire mounted on the back bumper, traditional four inch square tube bumper on the rear. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. Ladder on the back to help you get up onto the roof. There is a prep system in the top middle here for backup camera or observation camera by Furion. This customer chose to do that as an aftermarket item. So you do see that up there and that basically provides you with a screen that goes into your car. You just plug it in to your 12 volt outlet and then you would suction cup it to the window like a radar detector or you know whatever. And that will shoot a wireless signal to that screen so you can see what's going on behind you while you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. Now up top there, there's a picture popping up here of the roof. On the top of this one, you can see here some plumbing stack vents, the solar panel up front, TV antenna, air conditioner. Um, this customer ordered it with the rack system up top, and it has, uh, I think on the top of this one, if I remember right, it had the kayak rack along with, I think, a bike rack up there. And that's a couple different features you can get when you order these things. But you kind of get the idea of what you're seeing up there. A lot of cool stuff. Down below here on the corner, you have your detachable power cord on the back corner, cable satellite inlets, 
and you also have your black tank flush feature here to rinse out your toilet tank. Down below, just behind the rear axle here, you have your dump area here. Single dump on this unit, so you hook the hose up to one place. Then you have a gray and black handle there to the left to pull and drain it out. It's usually best to pull the black handle first, get all the nasty stuff out, then pull your gray and rinse out that hose so you're not dealing with a mess when you're putting it away. Slide out system here is again a 12 volt slide. This is the Lippert in-wall slide, sometimes referred to as the Schwintec slide. Um, Lippert has a lot of information, helpful videos and all that type of stuff about their systems on their website, guys. So if you ever have any type of malfunction years down the road, not a bad place to go is to lci1.com. Check out their helpful videos on there. Good people. Down below here, you will find the fresh water tank drain. Straight up above that, you have your city water inlet and your fresh water gravity tank fill right there. The baggage door here, basically the other side of that pass-through storage compartment, and that door again is held up by a magnetic holder. Now in the corner right here, we're gonna pop up some stickers. Informational stickers here, the first one popping up is your main production data sticker. It tells you your production date, VIN number, axle size, most importantly on that sticker, gross vehicle weight. Hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined, the most you can load it to, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. And this basically again tells you your VIN number, tells you the dry weight that the RV was when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and then it also tells you the length of the camper now too. Next sticker is going to be your cargo carrying capacity sticker, just telling you how much gear you can load into the RV. Next after that is going to be your tire sticker telling you your tire size, but most importantly here, telling you your proper tire pressure. Do not let the, the tire pressure drop too low. Um, if it gets too low, it can't hold the weight of the RV properly, and tires can blow out fairly easy. So always remember to check your tire pressure and also check your lug nut torque from time to time. RVs get a lot of side load when they're twisting and turning and stuff, and it can wiggle your lug nuts loose over time. So definitely remember to check your tire pressure and also your lug nuts. Up front here, you have your three-quarter fiberglass front cap. It has an LED light strip across the top there. That light strip turns on inside the RV on the side of the kitchen cabinet up there. There's a light switch for that switch. A lot of people always ask what that switch is for. Takes them a minute to flip it on and off and wander around the RV for a while to figure it out. It is this one up here. Power tongue jack with a built-in light, manual override. Does have an adjustable foot plate that my guys did not put on yet. It was in the storage compartment there. Uh, two and five sixteenths hitch ball. You have heavy duty safety chains, single 20 pound propane tank, your battery disconnect located right there, the little red box. Has manual jacks on the front and rear of the RV. Lower portion here, that black diamond plate metal. Back in behind the gas bottle, you have room for one or two batteries, depending on the size of battery you go with. The unit will come with one deep cycle interstate battery from Couch's RV Nation. Comes with zero from the manufacturer. So wherever you buy your RV from, if it's not from Couch's RV Nation, be sure to at least get one battery included. You need that to work the breakaway cable and the systems properly on the RV. Also, it has the little pet-friendly leash latch. I currently have the safety chains attached to that. It's kind of nice. You can just hold the safety chains up with it when you're not leashing up your pet. And you can also see, again, those Blue Ox Sway Pro brackets on the frame there. Uh, again, talk with the sales guy about that hitch system if it interests you. All right, guys, we're going to go back inside. I want to show you around the inside when it's closed so you can see it out. Be right back. All right, guys, we're now back inside the new 2022 No Boundaries 19.6 here. I just want to show you what it looks like closed. And basically what you're going to do, come back here to this side of the cabinet right next to your entry door area here. And you're going to have the front cap light button we talked about out front. Interior light switch, porch light switch, 
awning light switch, slide out button, and awning button. So we are going to run in the slide. Basically, all we're gonna do is hit the button to push in on the slide. Again, this is the 12 volt motor Lippert in-wall slide system. And you can find more information about that on LCI1.com. The slide comes straight in and goes straight out. So it's in all the way and you can squeeze right on by here. It's a little bit easier to get by without the table leg hitting you in the butt, but you can get right on in there and you can see you could have it in bed mode or you could put it up in sofa mode. Again, this is the Murphy bed model. So you can come in here, use the bed, sleep in a rest area, Walmart parking lot. You can get into the RV, load it with food, gear, all that type of stuff. Use your bathroom or whatever you need to do. So even though the slides in, it's a little tight, but it's still functional. And then when you're ready to take it out, all you gotta do is hit that button to take it back out. And if you need to, if you gotta go out and check to make sure you're not gonna hit the you know, electric pole or water pole at the campsite, you can let off the button, go out, check it out, do what you need to do, then hit the button to continue going on the rest of the way out. So real simple, easy to do, good little slide system. All right, guys, thank you again for taking the time to watch my video. Really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like, share, uh, subscribe button if you don't mind. Really helps me out a lot. Thanks again, guys.